Hello, I'm Super Orange Cat here with some South Park related news. Not too often get to say that re lately. And what I have to say is that South Park has a new special coming out on March 10th. It is being currently dubbed the Vaccination Special. And this is notable because the last time we saw South Park was back in October or September or October, I believe. And it was called the Pandemic Special. Now, basically... The promo we got was a nice little 10 or so second snippet from South Park, from Comedy Central, which it says, We will be heard, with herds being spelled H-E-R-D, most likely a reference to the concept of herd immunity, which has been brought up quite a bit over the past year or so at this point now. And also, the South Park logo, the K at the end changes to Q, which is a reference to a certain movement that if I mention... On YouTube, I'll get Shadow Band, but not on BitChute, which I'm also going to be simul-uploading this one to. Oh, by the way, if you haven't, please subscribe to me on BitChute. I'm there. Uh, and also, again, so that just shows some of the things they'll likely be covering in this. I believe it is going to be another one-hour special, just like the pandemic special. And again, like I said, some of the things we know of is that it's, of course, going to be about vaccination. I think we got, like, one image from it, which is, like, I think Randy standing outside a line a bunch of people to get vaccinated so that'll be a thing the, the movement that gets handed out towards the end of this promo clip will be mentioned too that will be a thing i mentioned to see how mr garrison plays into it since mr garrison will no longer be president in this one i wonder who they'll have to be like joe biden if it's gonna be actually joe biden the character or if they're gonna have like another adult from south park be joe biden like oh yeah in the meantime someone from south park ran against mr garrison and is now president That'd be interesting to see how they handle that. I want to see how the show does that. And also, like, see what Mr. Garrison does. Like, does he go, is he starting to do more political stuff, or is he back in South Park? I want to see that. That'll be pretty interesting to note. And, yeah. And also, I wonder how they're going to handle these things, because it's been, like I said, four or five months or so at this point since the last South Park we got. And the complaint, the general complaint a lot of people had about the pandemic special was that one, it tried fitting months worth of material into one hour, which, although it's definitely longer than the average South Park episode, that's not that much time to cover the wacky events that was 2020. And we've had more wacky events since then, and it's going to be interesting to see how the show tries to pack that in, what they decide to cover, what they decide to leave out. Like I said, we already have some hints about some things the show will probably mention during this. And again... And a lot of people, I think the general response I've noticed online was kind of negative towards the pandemic special. And it was generally because of what I call first episode-itis, which South Park has had the last few years, in which they tried fitting so many events from the off-season into one episode that it feels very convoluted, it feels very forced together, and it really doesn't form a very good, coherent episode. And another thing was, almost quite conversely, ironic considering that complaint, the fact that it was one hour long where... The show lost a lot of steam in the second half. And I agree with that second complaint, definitely, because the first 20 or so minutes of the episode was solid gold, really good. But then it kind of just kept going on and on and on, and it really felt aimless at points until we got to the end. The only plot line I honestly remember from this was the whole thing about Butters wanting to go to Build-A-Bear Workshop. And I also remember the whole thing with Randy, how, of course, he's the reason why we currently have this pandemic. And the fact that he decided to cure it by mixing in weed with his own semen, which made everyone slowly turn into him, which certainly will have to be addressed in this special. So what do you guys think? Are you excited for more South Park? It will be on at March 10th, I believe at 8 p.m. this time. So what do you guys think? Are you excited for this new South Park special like I am? Leave your comments, leave your opinions down below. I appreciate your input. If you like this, if you want more South Park content like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. I am Steve Orange Cat, and that is all.